Welcome back. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Wilson. Today, we're watching the winner of our most recent poll. Um, I think it was a 90s comedy poll. I don't really remember what it was. Death becomes her beat out Larry the Cable guy. So that's what we're watching today. What I know about Death Becomes Her, I know it got Bruce Willis in it, Goldie Hans, and I think it was Meryl Streep. I honestly have no idea what this is about. I don't know. I just watched a movie called Better Off Dead, and I thought that was going to be like a, like somebody get killed in that movie. So I don't know if it's like that. I don't know if it's somebody going to actually die or it's a funny movie. I'm assuming it's a funny movie because it got Goldie Hans in it, but it got Bruce Willis and Meryl Streep in it, so I don't, I don't know. It could be serious as hell. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It could, it could be a. I know Bruce Willis is funny, but I've never known him playing a comedy. Other than that TV show. I never watched it. Yeah, I have no idea. Either way, I'm here for it. You ain't come here and say hi to nobody? You know I raised you better than that. If you catch yourself want to watch the full-length of this or any of my other reactions, head over to our Patreon. Over there, you get early access to my full-lengths, you get exclusives, and you get a weekly poll to vote on. Also, don't forget to check out the gaming channel. Um, but with all that being said, I'm ready to get into this. So I'll see you on the other side. Let's get it. You ready, Ron? Who are they kidding? Thank God you wanted to leave. Talk about waking the dead. I gotta get a drink. It's just awful. Who are they hating on? They hate on Meryl Streep. Damn, they said she's awful. What do I see? She bad though. But as of right now, I'm still confused with what this is. I see me. I see me. So is this a musical? Hey, people really walk it out. That's funny as hell. He sleep. Hey, Bruce Willis look bad. Oh, that's Cody Hawes. Hey, she looks worse. Hey, that man in love. He has to be. Robert Sumekis. Why do I know that name? <laughs> I know he's a director. I just don't know what he directed. So, is Bruce Willis just a fan, or is that his girl? Because he was way too hype. Mad hell. Oh, I don't oh. believe it. Oh, she fake as hell. Well, how it's been are so you? Long. I know. Because she said in the crowd like this. Mad, I'd like you to meet Dr. Ernest Menville, uh, my fiance. You were just wonderful. Oh! Well, Ernest is quite a fan. Well, that, I've that read all about dance you. Number he here. never told me he had such a Madeline Ashton thing. Well, dance. I'm sure he doesn't have a thing. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Goldie Hawn, you just lost Bruce Willis, baby. He's gone. You just lost your fiance. <clears throat> so, have you two set a date? Hey, she ain't. Yes. No, actually. But he ain't shit either, apparently. Quickly, please. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Helen, it was a dinner. Ernest, you don't know Madeline the way I do. She wants you. Nah, he probably, he probably know a little bit more. I've lost men to her before. Why, why do you keep coming around her, dear? I just had to see if you could pass the Madeline Ashton test. Please, please don't fail. Girl, listen, you haven't passed the Madeline Ashton test. 
she didn't blew in his butthole. He's she's gone. I mean, he's gone. No interest in Madeline Ashton. I, I know this is not their wedding. You supposed to burn this church down with them in it. God will forgive you. People might, but God will. Ah, dog, she hold on to that motherfucker. Hey, you got your ass in the camera like that. Shut the f up. They did not do Goldie Hans like this. Oh man, you know her her part where it smells like ammonia. Cause she ain't clean. And she just eating that with her hands. Do people do that? I have your final eviction notice. Okay. Speak. I'm going to charge you for the two. Uh, you gonna get that off your cheek? She just happy watching her get killed. That's funny. Shut the f up. So, what about you, Helen? Is there um, anything you'd like to t talk about? Shut the f up. That's old girl from 227. I ain't seen her in forever. I would like to talk about Madeline Ashton. Ah! Stop! Stop it! Hey, you know when crazy people go crazy because you mentioned something? You've talked about that a lot. Oh, for any of us to have a life, you have got to forget about her. You have to erase her from your mind. You have to completely eliminate any... What? Oh. You're right. What? Oh, so she really about to kill her. Oh, this is about to be amazing. Hey man, 14 years, that's a long time to hold a grudge, boy. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying she's wrong for holding it. They are paid, paid though. What is on her face? Good morning, madam. You look absolutely marvelous. They had those in 92. Aren't you forgetting something? You say it every morning. Oh, madam. Look younger every day. Thank you, Rose. That's it. Those are your tickets for Helen Sharp's book party tonight. It just came. Forever young. I like that. Why is her head wrapped like that? So where did he sleep? Why does he sleep up there on the floor? Is this an angel I see before me? You're so cute. Not you, Rose. What is he drinking? Oh. It looks nasty. More vodka. Is that more vodka? When it come? Hey, he is doing bad. Is it up yet? Yes, sir. It's in the bath. And hey, my man called her it. Rose! Oh, it's you. Fine, dear. Thank you. Like a rock. You're dressed. Special occasion. Work. Cool. It's nice to see them happily married. Good afternoon, Miss Ashton. How are you? So good to see you. <laughs> you will be the best one. The f Our policy clearly prohibits more than one in a six-month period. How about you make college involved instead, no? What is she doing? I could pay you extra. Something on a personal basis. You know what I mean? How about that? Money is no object. It means nothing. I'd actually try to strangle her. I wonder, Miss Ashton, if perhaps you have ever heard of the... Uh... And that man said, I'm trying to get some more money. Liesl von Ruman. No. What did he say? Oh, he ain't trying to make some money. He put her on to somebody else. Weirdo. Oh, 
I mean, okay. I mean. Could you just not breathe? Damn. The honest breath? Dr. Menville? Yes. Ernest Menville? I never had a chance to thank you for the spectacular job you did with my Aunt Esther. Can I ask you what your secret is? Spray paint. Spray paint. You can't just use regular makeup on dead skin. The pores are too dry. You've got to use a palette. And He's spray painting dead people. Comes in an incredible variety of flesh. Excuse me. And that's f***ed up. Have you seen her yet? She's not even here. Oh, look over there. Oh, looks as though she's lost a few pounds. Shut the f up. We're leaving. Nonsense. Hey. Yeah. Hey. She used up seven years for good use, didn't she? Hey, she's sick, boy. Hey, she is sick. Mad? Look at you. You have a waist. <laughs> you got a waist. Hey, that's up. Ah, heaven. It's absolute heaven. I often thought to myself, I don't deserve this. It came at your expense, and that thought made me feel terrible. Hey, Madeline, for real. She's a whole level of ain't shit. Oh, she don't like that. Life has turned out to be quite a party. I didn't know you were so unhappy. Hey man, Bruce Willis with her is it? I, I will never get used to this. She married a brilliant surgeon and turned him into an undertaker. I want you to know something. I have never blamed you for leaving me. Hey, she toxic. I always knew it was her. I know she got a game plan. She's a woman. A woman, Ernest, from Newark, for God's sakes. I mean, her eyes is wild, man. Where the f is she going? Dakota! Is she? <laughs> oh. Shut the f up. Just give oh me a second. Oh my God, you're not alone. Of course I am. I'm completely alone. Dakota. She's here to fix that. Who is she? That's what I'm trying who to tell you. She's a little piece of me. She's a friend of, of the guy who was here to uh, fix. How can, why are you lying to her? Just tell her. Oh, for Christ's sake, at least lie quickly. I am trying to. You gotta believe me. I mean, she got a whole husband. I'm just saying, if she caught him in an orgy, she can't take shit. She married. I came outside butt naked. Well, yes, how can I help you? I am sick of this shit. You know that? I am doing you a favor here. You should go find someone your own age, Madeline. Hey, man, that's so fucking funny. It instantly started rating on her. That's, hey, that's hilarious. Oh, she is tripping. Madeline, I need to speak to Madeline at once. No. What the f is she doing? Oh, honey. Oh, she about to kill the out of her. I hope it's not. Not at all, Miss Ashton. Miss Von Rubin's expecting you. Why he got the WWE Championship belt on? Follow me, please. I mean, he looks just like an '80s wrestler, like one of the tag team. Like he looked like he like Shawn Michaels' tag team partner. What was his name? Marty Jannetty. I hope you'd come. Make some room for my friend, for Christ's sake. But keep your ass handy. Her 
Or I loved your outfit. That hey, your outfit's amazing. I'm not really quite sure why I. Came. You're scared as hell of yourself. Nah, I'm pretty sure she's scared of you. I would be scared of you. Well, not you. This whole place. I am the one who understands. They key to the plot. Who is it? I need to speak to Madeline. She's not here. Oh, thank God. How did you get in? I, I, I didn't hear the gate. I didn't want you to hear. You're a powerful, sexual being, Ernest. I am. Is I am? It offers us a taste of youth and vitality. Well, it is the natural law. No, oh, screw the natural law. What happened to that accent? Got real Brooklyn real fast, didn't it? I mean, them things is dangy. I just, I just, I just, I just. I Oh, she's part of the Illuminati. What is that? What you came for? I don't know, girl, but it had a purple glow. It's something you don't need. Oh, it glows. It it glows itself. The tonic. The potion. Girl, I don't know what that is, but it's the devil. What does it do? How old would you guess I am? I wouldn't. 25? Come on, don't try to flatter me. 38. Oh, 28. Three? I am 71 years old. Bet you are. It stops the aging process dead in its tracks. Drink that potion, and you'll never grow even one day older. I gotta see a birth certificate. You're lying. I'm not drinking this glowing just standing here without some kind of proof that you're 71. Well, for me, how much? <laughs> well, thank you very much. Why she write it down? They the only two. They they the only two people in the room. Why she write it down? Are the dolls going to hell? That's that from Ghostbusters. Shut the f up. Check okay? Fine. The secret that we share must never become public. Before people become suspicious, you have to disappear from public view forever. As one of my clients simply said, I want to be alone. <gasps> no, she's not. Wow. So who the f is that supposed to be? He didn't even check to see if the check was good first. What if that motherfucker bounced? What if she stopped payment on that bitch? Bottoms up. I wonder what it tastes like. Now a warning. Now a warning? Hey, yeah, her priorities up. You're supposed to tell people that early. You and your body are going to be together a long time. Be good to it. Shut the f up. Shut the f She got automatic titties. I'm a girl. Hey, she is bad. Oh, we gotta stop. Oh, yes. Oh, I know. Y'all still ain't got naked? I'm fighting this as hard as I can. But just look at you. Listen, you y'all supposed to be in the You gotta kill him by now. I'm just saying. She done got a whole new body. Y'all are here boys. I should have divorced Madeline a long time ago. Oh by God, that is exactly what I am going to do. The first thing tomorrow morning, I am gonna go downtown and I am gonna obtain a divorce. I mean, you know, he kinda remind me of Rick Moranis. Um the very least Tuesday. Ernest. Divorce? The very least Tuesday. In California? That's exactly what she wants you to do. I've thought this thing through carefully, and I know it's the only way. 
No matter which glass she drinks from, the Narconal will be on the glass. First, we finish dinner. Then we load her in the car, take her to the top of Mulholland Drive, call the police. Mulholland Drive, I've seen that movie. There's some drunk woman up here on Mulholland swerving dangerously close to the edge. It's on Patreon. And make it look like she's had just a little bit too much to drink. That's unnecessary. She'll be classified as just another drunk driver. The case is closed. Madeline is dead. And we're free. Hey man, those flames in his glasses is crazy. God, dog, bro, you got enough guns? It would be self-defense. Self-defense. Oh, he a new fool. Look, they had a whole plan about putting stuff on the alcohol glasses. He got a drink in his hand. He gonna kill himself. We have to talk. Why don't you have another drink and go to bed? You'd like to see me drink myself into an early grave. God, that is not going to happen. You are not going to take my money! He said that as he put his drink down. Anything you had left, you owed me a long time ago. Your face owed me. You changed your hair. What an eye. Don't wait up. Cheap. Uh-oh. What did you say? I called you cheap, Madeline. You are nothing. That's what I called you. You're a tragic, You're boozy, flaccid clown. Not boozy. You're not even a man anymore, and I need a man! Not some drunken, broken-down, flaccid undertaker. Hey, I might have more fun with one of your clients. At least I'd know I'd be getting something stiff in there. <laughs> hey, he's choking the f*** out of her! Did you think that I was just going to take it forever, Madeline? Did you? <laughs> That's exactly what she thought. Bitch! That's what I thought. <laughs> Actually scared to death. Oh God. Hey. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. She spent all that money on that body. It's gone. You about to be dead to the ball. Hurry up, you wimp. Oh, she dead to the mother. She done done. Bruh, that wasn't part of the plan, but I mean, I, I mean. Oh, boy. Oh, you're going to jail. You're going to jail. <sighs> Look how she land. Look where her legs are. Look, look at her f***ing neck, man. Oh, bro. <laughs> he got the nerve check her pulse. Hey, bro, she's done for. Bro. Helen, it's me. I did it. I didn't think I'd be able to, but I did it. I pushed her down the stairs. Hey, bro, you're a f***ing up. You called, you called her before you called 911? No, Helen, you don't understand. Ernest, we went over it three times. No, Helen, you don't understand. It, it just happened. I mean, it was an accident. It's, it's better than... Hold on. She moved twice. Have you called the police? No, I called you first thing. Ernest. Okay, okay. The first time that she moved, I was looking at him, and I thought I was tripping. Then I seen her leg move. And I was like, I'm gonna chalk that up to nerves. But then her arm wave. Hey, what the fuck am I watching? She landed on her neck first. Her neck is over here. Her neck is sitting where Rami is. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Oh, man. This changes everything I thought that was going to happen in the movie. Because I thought the last half of this movie was about to be all about them getting rid of this body, trying to cover this shit up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, this bitch better not walk this off. What am I watching? Is she moving because of the Ghostbuster shit? Did the ooze give her some shit? I just... 
Hey, bro. I'm starting to learn. Whenever Blank asks me a question and he say and I say I don't know nothing about it, he go good. I'm 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 starting to learn. And something's crazy is gonna happen. I just assumed the craziest part is when she sat down the steps. But no. <laughs> no, it's never that simple. <laughs> Yeah, you're an idiot. You're right. Of course I'm right. But it ain't gonna matter, cause she, hey, she just undertaking the f out the situation. Okay, I've got it. Where's the body? It's at the foot of the stairs. Foot of the stairs. Good. Don't move her. Hey, she moving herself. She ain't, you ain't gotta worry about him over there. What about the time of death? Do you think they could ever use it to prove the phone call came after? Hey, she is walking backwards to him. It's very difficult to determine time of death within a few hours. Do you not notice that? Ernest. It's not an exact... Ernest. You pushed me down the stairs. Hey, he handled this. He handled this way better than I expected. Don't come near me or follow me. Don't come near me. Hey, man. This, hey, this is right here. This is going to the cocaine cabinet. I just have to make a telephone call. Hey, girl, you was dead for a whole three minutes. Ernest, my ass. I can see my ass. What a great. Honey, I think I need a doctor. You need the more. You you was dead. Uh, does it hurt when I do this? No. Doesn't. Um. Mm -mm. uh, okay. This? Mm, no. Mm -mm. This doesn't hurt? Mm -mm. No. Hey, bruh. That's because she's a corpse. Maybe you, maybe you just... Uh... Oh! Okay. Right, I see. Oh. Shock. What about shock? Could maybe be. you should... It could be shock. Check could for be. shock. Could be shock. Ha! Huh. Hey, she the hottest zombie ever. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, kids. Uh, we there's a uh, kind of odd thing here. You, your wrist is uh, it's fractured in three places, but uh, the the uh, bone protrusion through the skin that that's not a good sign. And uh, what did he just take? Your you, you, your heart stopped beating. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Exactly. Hey, bro, she's a f zombie. She's dead. You're sitting there. <gasps> You're talking to me. But you're dead! I'm gonna get help! What you passing out for? Shut the fuck up. Where is she? I'm terribly sorry, sir. Where did you put my wife? She's dead, sir. They took her to the morgue. The morgue? She'll be furious! So she didn't tell them, hey, don't take me here. I mean, I know she passed out, but you know what I'm saying? Like, she just. Ernest, I'm in the morgue. Why am I in the morgue? That's because you're dead. They think I'm dead. Yes. 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 They think you're dead, but you're not dead. You're a sign. You're an omen. You're a burning bush. We're being told that we belong together. I'm being called. I say he's taking that way. He's he's saying that it's a miracle. He's taking that way different than I would. Cause me, I'm taking that as that's a sign that you're the devil. I need to get far, far away from you because you're dead and <laughs> you're in here talking to me. You to kill the doctor. I don't need to be around you. The f is he doing? Shut the f up. Oh! Where is she? Oh my gosh, Helen. Hey, she'd have broken a man's house. His alarm is trash. 
She's dead, Ernest. Just, just like we plotted together, remember? I, you may have done it alone, but I can't walk away from this now. And so how's this gonna work out? And she was a bad actress. Would you oh, please listen to stop. That Madeline, big man, ain't she? Oh, if she's not dead, you tell her to come down here. Walk right up to me and kiss me on the... Kiss you on the what? Mad? Huh? What were you saying? Hell. Huh? She's not what? What'd you say? Are you angry, dear? I mean, she's right there. Say something. Are you very angry? It's a lie. Bitch, don't wait till she walk off. Helen, I think you should leave right away. I, I see a very, very bad situation developing here. Madeline? And this bitch right here, he don't know what the to do. Shut the f up. I just want you to know one thing, Hell. You brought this on yourself. And she shot the f out of her. She's dead! She is. <gasps> These are the moments that make life worth living. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's pretty really hot right there. <laughs> What if the police should receive an anonymous phone call about you and find me on the floor? Ain't nobody can play dead like me, Ernest. Hey, bruh, can you imagine getting blackmailed by your dead wife who's in the living room right now talking sh to you? Hey, that's a hey, that's a whole new kind of fed up. Hey, he a bitch. I'm not gonna be your cop all by myself, Madeline. Him. I'm happy to help. Oh, she's I'm happy to help. Boy, today really shaped up and hurt in <gasps> Shut the f up. That was totally uncalled for. Hey, you got a whole hole in your stomach. You can't feel good. Just look at me. I'm soaking wet. Look at her fing eyes, man. Yeah, you shouldn't walk that off. That's another miracle! Oh, no, it isn't. Shut the f*** up. She went to the same place. <laughs> you took the potion. <gasps> you took the potion, too. Well, I hardly needed it. Wait a second. Free weights, exercise. I don't think this is a miracle at all. Boy, shut the f***. Get your bitch ass down. Shut up. And I can see right through you. <laughs> Speaking of which, as a friend, I would stay out of a bathing suit. For a while. <laughs> or if I Damn, I just fixed this. It's <laughs> amazing. You may have always won, but you never played fair. So they just gonna have a petty war to the end of time? I will not speak to you till you put your head on straight. She the f***ed up. So, so can she grow her stomach back or she just got to walk around like that forever? Oh, you really? told my boyfriends to hurt me on purpose. I did not. You admit it. No, you admit it. You look me in the eye. You thought I was cheap. Also, she never had money and she had money. That's why she hates the word cheap. Okay. Shut the f*** up, man. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, too. So this is a conversation y'all could have had 14 years ago. Or longer. But y'all wait till y'all kill each other. Helen and I want to apologize for that little thing downstairs. We've got it out of our systems now. What a great point for me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, look at this sh Like, you, like... Like, that's like a new belly button, man. I promised hell that you would fix her. Oh, and Maddie needs work, too. Come on, what do you say? For old times' sake. Hey, bro, you, you'll have two of the hottest women walking. Please. And they zombies. 
Can't nobody else say that. We got zombie models. You don't ask about me. You don't even think about me ever again. I have no problem with that, do you? Not anymore. Why is Cody Hans eyes so crazy? Oh, oh it's amazing. Oh. Not a blemish, not a poor. Oh. Hey, man, I don't know what he done, but he's good. He gave her a whole, like, he gave her a whole midsection. He'll have to take the potion. Yeah. We'll, we'll take him to Liesl's. Uh -huh. She'll talk him into it. Uh -huh. You heard him. He's made up his mind about leaving. Mm, that's true. I have to respect that. Yeah, he can have two bad ones. <laughs> you know something else? I drink too much. Bro, all the times you should have been drinking, now's the time. I mean, you did right by not drinking. What? Shut the f up. How y'all gonna kidnap him? Marty Janetti back. I saw your wife and friend. You did brilliant work. Show me your hand. I won't bite. I ain't gonna lie, you can bite me. Don't give a f Hey, bruh. Meryl Streep said your dick wasn't working. You ought to get her to put that in your dick. Drink. It's the right choice. The only choice. Live forever. Then what? What? What do you mean? Then what happens? What? I don't want to live forever. I mean, it sounds good, but what am I going to do? You can do a lot of forever. Who am I going to hang around with? Madeline and Helen? I don't think this is right. This is not a dream. This is a nightmare. You people all have to be stopped. Dick Tom Harry. Dick Tom Harry. Get him. Get him. Relax. He won't get far. Not at his age. Not at his age. I must remind all of you who staged your own deaths of our very strict policy against popping up in public. I won't name names. You know who you are. Huh? Trying to have some fun, man. That's all I was doing. Shut the f up. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. About to kill himself full self. I'd have drank the out there. This is what your dumb ass get. Hey, listen. Drink it! Drink it or you'll die! Drink it! We need you! Y'all done f***ed up. Y'all done shut the f*** up. You're on your own. Shut the f*** up. I'm mad this mother had to do all that. So, are you gonna be done soon or what? That's funny as hell. We just have to be very, very careful. We have to take care of each other. Yeah. I'll paint your ass, you paint mine. <laughs> Painting each other's asses. <laughs> Day and night. Yeah, forever. <laughs> forever. That's funny as hell. 37 years later. That's a strange amount of time. Now, Dr. Ernest Mendel always felt that life begins at 50. Because it wasn't until 50 that, that he had two sons and four daughters. Hey, my man got the f***ing dick, didn't he? <laughs> hey, my man done a lot, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have that number nine acrylic? Well, let's get the hell out of here. 
And they in church cousin. In his own way, learned the secret of eternal life. And the secret of eternal youth. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's hard. That's Why are they walking like that? Let me see what oh, kind of a mess you've made of yourself, Nick. Oh, they look like Mr. Where did you see it like? If I knew, I'd know where it was. An entire can of spray. Right there. That's because you cracked your knuckles all the time. Ah! Help me! My legs aren't working! Help me! <gasps> Shut the f up. Hey, Goldie Hawn's reflex is amazing. Ah! Oh, they fell apart. Do you remember where you parked the car? Oh, that's crazy as hell. All right. So, we just watched Death Becomer. Cocaine Cabinet Ballot Hall of Fame. Because let me tell you, sitting down at the beginning of this movie, with a million guesses, I never thought that you don't need this bottle. That that never would have been the guess of anything ever in life. That is a good movie. That that is that's a really good movie. I think it's funny as hell, but I don't think it's like laugh out loud funny. But like, I think it's very clever. Goldie Hans and Meryl Streep's back and forth, especially after Goldie Hans got smaller. Is amazing, like absolutely amazing. Bruce Willis is funny in this, and Bruce Willis is funny in this because, cause I've never seen Bruce Willis not be a tough guy in some way. It was just funny seeing him just being like very timid. You know what I'm saying? Push over and stuff like that. They, they Goldie Hans and Meryl Streep remind me of um. Your boys from um Grumpy Old Men. They remind me of them. But I enjoyed the hell out of this. This is this is one of those movies that um like I could literally watch on repeat. I hope y'all enjoy watching this with me. I enjoy watching it with y'all. Um if you catch yourself wanting to watch the full length of this or any of my reactions, head over to Patreon. Um speaking of Patreon, I'm gonna give a shout out to the VIPs. We got the Leslie, Trey, John Harold, Becca June, the beautiful dog Missy, Big Al Robin, Big Frank, Cody Stoudemire, Paul Sawicki, Cross1997, Anna Rondo, Jeff Jernigan, Adam, Grady B. Olsen, Red Tail Z, TJ Gangler, Thomas, the Brandis, Garrett, Elizabeth Esposito, Nicholas Jenkins, Super Nobody, Rachel Martinez, Jennifer Natley, DB98, Nareen, Nick, Coke Movies at Midnight, Jamie Gibson, Miguel Brooks, Caleb, Steve McCluso, Echo, Peanut, Sammy Zachary, John DePatrick, Ryan Rocket Beardo, Blackbeard Bob, Hot Indie Media, Amen Locke, Jake Stimson, Banan Boar, Jake Slogan, Tony A. Aragon, Captain Roberts, Dom, Lavar Hawkins, Show, Colin LaShore, Jason, Harley Smith, Brad Williams, Rick, Miranda, Michael Clark, Jesse, Gina, Luke the First, Antoinette, Cecil, Maddie Death, Fast Long Guy, Burrito, Amy K, Ralphie Long Island, Bianca, The Salt Nation, Brandon W., Adrian, Trey Nicholson, Kyrie Wolf, Summer Devin and Ronnie Collins. I want to thank all y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank everybody else for being part of the family as well. Thank y'all for taking time out y'all's day to hang out with us. It means a lot to us. I'm going to get off here. So, y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night, night.